Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I will be doing a review and a teardown on the latest offering from Renogy. They are the Marmite of the battery world, you either love them or you hate them. Now this is the Pro version, which if it was a car it would be a Volvo, simply because of all the built-in safety features that this particular battery is boasting. Um, it's a 100 amp hour, um, although they under promise and over deliver because it's actually got about 105 amp hours, supposedly. It's a 12.8, 100 amp hours. The battery dimensions, 10.5 by 7.6 by 7.9 inches. It weighs quite a bit, 26.91 pounds. And the, the whole package itself tells you there, £31.21. So without further ado, I'll tear this open and we'll see what's in the box. And as usual, I've purchased this at full retail. I'm not sponsored by any company. I do this out of my own pocket. And for those of you who have contributed to this channel, subscribed and even bought me a coffee, a big thank you. So at the very top of the box we have our manual with some other warranty stuff. We have M8 terminals and there's two different sizes, they're different lengths which is interesting. Lots of foam. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. Plenty of foam packaging. Here's the battery. And good packaging, I must admit. Now this battery is quite heavy. Considering its size, and here we are. So, on the top, we have all the information from the manufacturer, it's got a unique serial number, and it tells us all the basic information about its capacity. And at the base of the battery, if you can see it, there are terminals here for securing it to something and it doesn't come with the brackets for that, that's an optional extra, uh, which I think is a bit silly. For the price of the battery, they could include that. It's only a couple of brackets. Voltage out the box. Let's see what we're sitting at. Thirteen point one three which is what you would expect. As a size comparison, this is the Renogy. This is the same uh, casing that's used by Ecoworthy and Fogstar. And they're quite comparable in size, very similar heights. Although this one, as you can see side by side, is slightly lower. And for width, they're identical, more or less. What's in the pack? We have our user manual. E-warranty card. And some decals for windows or whatever you think you want to stick that on. One of the first things you want to do after you've got your battery out of the box is download the DC Home app. It's available on the Apple Store and the Play Store for Android. Um, it downloaded fine on my phone, which is an Android Samsung, but it wouldn't work with any of my tablets. It says it's not compatible. I don't know why, but it just won't work. Um, it takes a little while to find the battery initially. I'll just refresh it. You can see there we found the battery. 
and it is all very just basic info. So you've got a little gauge that shows you your percentage left. Now we're doing our capacity testing here and that's the information you can get from it. it shows you your cell voltages. Uh, if we go back, now the time remaining is a bit of a hit or a miss. I'll refresh it again, see if it makes any change. Yeah, it takes a little while, but it has finally caught up and tells us we've got an hour and 45 minutes remaining in our capacity test. Um, in the top right hand corner, there's a little plus button where you can add a device or scan a QR code. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to charge the battery up to its full capacity. And there we've got the 16 mils as well as the shorter ones. Now for all its weight, it sounds quite hollow. Set to the sides here. I'm now charging the battery up um, using my Victron 30 amp. Brilliant charger, can't recommend it enough never lets you down and I'm also using another 10 amp charger I've got there so I've got 40 amps going into the battery at the moment. It's been a couple of days now and I've got the battery fully charged. It's been sitting for well over 24 hours. I'll just do a quick voltage check. Hopefully that will show. 13.49 volts. And I've hooked up the A torch. Uh, this is the DL24, which is capable of running at 40 amps or a 0.4C test. But I will program it to do a 20 amp, 0.2C discharge. And then we'll come back and we'll see how much capacity it actually delivers. Just a little recap for people who haven't used uh, battery capacity tester. There's so many different models available. Um, I've got quite a few of them as you can see and they're essentially small heaters. They, they take the power um, and generate heat which is then dissipated by the fans which is you know controlled by your logic board. So you can set it. Uh, each unit is capable of about 10 amps um, safely. So with this unit, the DL24, I could technically pull 40 amps from the battery, but in this test, I'm only doing a 0.2C. Same with these ones, 10, and again, 10. 10 amps is what I would suggest, the maximum you, you try and pull from them. Just do a quick check with the clamp meter, just to see what we're pulling. 19.6 and you'll see there that we're pulling 20 amps cut voltage is off so it'll just keep running until the BMS shuts it down and it'll be interesting to see what the true capacity actually is. If you're interested in any of these batteries just go to the DC Guy uh, website you'll find links to everything uh, that you can possibly want for your off-grid solar life. It'll tell you the pre-built batteries that are there. Uh, there's the fog stars and so forth. And my affiliate links are all on the website. So we're coming to the end of the test and we've actually gone over what it stated on the app of 105.63. We've actually got 105.68. However, we do have a battery under voltage warning, 1.7% remaining. It stated the capacity has been 105.63 and we've already exceeded that. So 
really delighted. It's exceeded everything. Uh, cell voltages are now 2.9. How low will it go? We're at 107 amp hours. Still get half a percent. I just have to keep this. It's got to die soon. <laughs> I'm really surprised at this figure. What was that other warning there that came up? And it's still running. Still, whoa, we've got 2.8. One cell's at 2.8, 107. Refresh it and see what's going to happen. 2%, come on. This thing just keeps wanting to go. 107.5 and it's still going. We've dropped below 11 volts, it's still running. 10.98, 9.7. <laughs> Zero percent, it's still running. What's going on? 2.8 volts. It's saying 0% on the app, 10.8 volts and it's still going, 107.94, that's incredible. When's the BMS going to kill this? It's recognising the abnormal condition, 0 0.3, we've got one cell down. 2.7 What's going on? 108 amp hours At 0% We're getting all these warnings, but the BMS has not cut it off, it's still discharging. This is crazy. The BMS has finally cut the power. But it's, the fans are still running just to cool things down. And we've got 108.23 amp hours out of it. That's absolutely crazy. The reason the fans were still running is the it's powered by the mains also. But there's our final figure. And it took 5 hours 24 minutes. But that's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. Well, what do you guys think of that performance from the Renogy uh, Smart Lithium Battery? It certainly impressed me. Join me in the next video where I'm going to go inside this. I'm going to take it apart and we'll have a right good look at the innards, uh, what components they're using, uh, whatever else we can glean from that. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And thank you all for watching. See you the next time.